The Bolex 16mm Reflex offers spring-wound filmmaking. Uh, its main limitation is that the wind only lasts about 30 seconds. This Bolex is equipped with a three-lens turret. On that turret, we have three prime lenses, a 16, a 25, and a 75mm lens. Changing from lens to lens can be done by using the turret lever. Now, there is a locking mechanism on the top that you may need to work. This is a three-way switch. Forward is for shooting a single frame for animating, and back is a locking mechanism for the trigger. This dial is for making frames per second or speed adjustments from 12 to 64 frames per second. The tiny dial right above it with the letters T and I are for animation purposes. Timed is for a lengthy exposure of a single frame and intermittent is for a single frame shot at 1 45th of a second. These two dials are for backwinding purposes or double exposing your film. This symbol here is the with the circle with the line is the symbol for the film plane. This is where we should measure our focus to. Right in front of that is the adjustable or variable shutter. In the up position it is completely open. No adjustment to the exposure is necessary. In the down position we lift up and down. That is completely closed. All of your film will be black. Or I can use it as a um, exposure adjustment if I'm shooting under very sunny conditions. The footage counter window resets automatically after you have removed the door and replaced the door. The motor switch acts as a clutch in this spring wound camera so if I wanted to disengage the motor it would be in the off position. This allows for specialized animation motors uh, or back winding. Finally, the wind mechanism of the Bolex is this arm which we pull out and then uh, move counterclockwise to wind the spring in the camera. We go until it stops. We don't want to force it any further because that may break both the internal mechanism or the arm itself. I want to place this back into its resting position um, so that it doesn't hit me in the face. The diopter on the Bolex Rex 5 is a very simple one. Um, we just need to open up the locking screw and then make our adjustments through the ground glass of the viewing system with a lens removed for your eye. As part of the viewing system, there is a close lever. This is very useful if I am not able to operate the camera and look through the viewfinder to block any light coming in that could potentially fog the film. Loading the Bolex reflex, first I must open the door. I want to place this on a clean surface. Uh, inside I will find the feed spool, which I'm going to remove and use later for a take-up spool. This particular Bolex has an auto-loading feature which will help us with the loading aspect. This should be done in subdued light. This particular Bolex has a real uh, ejector so I can easily take that out. Here I have my pressure plate release pin. Um, I can lift up on this to open the pressure plate and uh, take a peek and make sure that everything is clean and dandy back there. I want to make sure that this pressure plate quick release pin is actually in its final resting position. Before Double check that before you begin shooting so that um, all of your film comes out sharp and in focus. These keepers are removable. If I need to extract the film for some reason, I can actually move those out of the way. First thing I'm going to do here is close the loop setters. This is going to help me uh, set the perfect amount of loop for my film. Um, I've already wound the camera, which is also uh, something that I'm going to need to load the camera. I have the direction of travel indicated with these arrows, so I know which way the film actually needs to be placed. I'm going to start by putting the film uh, onto its spindle. The first thing I need to do, though, is to actually cut a little piece of the film um, with the built-in film cutter on the bottom of the Bolex. Now that my film's cut, I'm actually ready to uh, engage the film between the sprocket and roller. If uh, the film has a little bit of a, a little bit curly here, um, 
I'll begin by activating that motor and I want it to go uh, and be picked up by that sprocketed roller. It goes through the keepers, this other sprocketed roller, the loop setters, and now I'm ready. I don't want to use any tape for this operation. I want to find the slot in my spool and actually thread the film into that. Go around a couple of times. I want to make sure that I'm clear of all things like the uh, spool remover and uh, this little keeper right there. Put this back on there. There we go. Now, as a, an assurance that I have everything done correctly, I'm actually going to deactivate the loop setters, and this will open them up. This is how I want to operate the camera when I'm actually filming. Many older Bolexes have a manual release of the loop setters, so I want to make sure that I, it becomes partly habit that I open those up before I begin filming. I'm going to give it a couple of bursts just to make sure that the film is spooling off correctly and actually taking up that I haven't lost that threading there because I, otherwise it could cause a jam later on. Once I've tested everything and I'm ready to go, I can now place the door back on. I want to make sure that my uh, door is still in the open position and then close it. Uh, to make sure that I don't get any light leaks, I may want to put a bit of camera tape, camera black tape around the edge between the door and the camera itself. The Bolex Reflex is equipped with a behind-the-lens filter system, so I can use Rattan gelatin filters with the Bolex. And this little filter slot here right now is empty. Um, must be in place even if I'm not using any filters because that would allow light to leak in and fog my film. When using a wide-angle lens like this 16mm or perhaps an optional 10mm lens, it's a good idea to remove the 75mm lens because it may show up in the field of view. I can remove these C-mount lenses simply by unscrewing them. Put them safely uh, in the camera case or somewhere else they won't become dusty. To compensate for the light loss by the Bolex prism, adjust your exposure index on your light meter by two-thirds of a stop.